Questions for Coach Huggins. We'll start with Greg Hunter. There you go. Coach, um, obviously a lot of good things offensively, but I'm sure you're going to look at rebounding, especially second chance points. Um, is that uh, the biggest problem area that you see? Tough to answer, Greg. I, I could show you why we didn't rebound it. You want to come in the office and look at some look at some clips? I can show you why we didn't rebound it. But I, um, we competed, man. We 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 really competed. I'm proud of them. Um, obviously, I get to see things that you don't see until uh, after way after the fact. So. Let me leave it at that so I don't get in trouble. <laughs> so the, the, the competition part, you sort of indicated uh, on Saturday that you thought things were getting better in those areas. So did you sort of see that you guys had energy and the ability to, to compete at a pretty high level uh, even prior to tonight? I thought we had really good practices. I thought the second half of the Arkansas game, we competed uh, we competed like crazy today. I mean, we we competed. We hung in there with our our best player and one of the best players, if not the best player in the league, laying in the locker room with a concussion. So I think that uh, that that showed a lot of uh, uh, a lot of strength that that you know our other guys our other guys could come through. We certainly don't want to. We certainly don't want to do it without Taz, but or even try it without Taz. But um, yeah, I mean, Greg, I mean, it's it's really pretty simple. I mean, we um, yet yeah, we've lost we've lost games, but we've lost games to good people. We haven't lost any bad people, and and now we just got to go win. We got the second half of the schedule. We've just got to go win. We've got to win on Saturday, uh, and, and then continue to continue to win. Uh, Hope and pray that Taz is okay. Um, I know how much it means to him, so hope and pray he's okay. Questions for Coach Huggins? Please use the raised hand feature. Greg Hunter, well, go ahead with another follow up, please. Yeah, I, since no one else is going, I'll keep going. So, so Taz, what what exactly did you see happen, and how difficult was it to try to keep the offense going with him not on the floor? Greg, I'm better. I'm better off not not talking about that. I'll get in trouble. Um, but um, I mean, it was. Clearly something happened. He's laying on the floor. He's laying on the floor. Uh, he may have been unconscious at the beginning. I'm not sure. Uh, and they continued to, to play on and we played five on four. Didn't stop the game. Didn't stop the game. Go look at it. Didn't stop the game at all. So trying to muster offense those final four minutes or whatever without him, uh, you know, what would what, you guys try to do? Score. <laughs> We tried to score. Yeah, it's hard without him. I mean, it's it, it's hard without him. But you know, we uh, it's been rough. I mean, J, JV's playing with a with a bad hand. Uh, we're 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 a little banged up right now. We've got to get we've got to get well. But you know, Taz's situation, man. Who knows? I've had concussions. I've had plenty of concussions. So. I know I know what it is, and I know what a what a good, I mean a, a a really bad concussion feels like. I've had a really really bad one, and I've had some that you know uh, they hurt for a little while, and you have headaches and things. But you know you you can come back and play in a matter of you know maybe two or three weeks. I've also had them where it took a lot longer than that. I to this, I mean, I he got hit pretty good. Now, next question comes from Kevin Kinder. But you with the smaller lineup, obviously, looks mm -hmm. like that you passing the ball, moving the ball some more, but obviously hurt you on the boards. Is that just a matter of hey, you know, we're going to try to maximize our advantages and and outscore what we give up on the other end? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I thought we moved the ball better. We scored the ball better. Uh, look at some, go back and look at some clips and, 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 and then, and then you can make your own decision as to maybe why we got beat on the boards. Hmm. It's not, it's not hard, on this game, really not hard to find. Not commenting on this game directly, but just in general, is there sometimes an influence when someone looks out there and sees a smaller team and says, okay, they shouldn't be getting rebounds. So those aren't facts. Hey, that didn't have anything to do with it. Nothing to do with it. Mike Kazaza. Hey, Bob, after some games lately, you've talked about kind of trying to do some new things, uh, I guess on defense and on offense, but, you know, going back and looking at some things that had helped you get open and, and score the ball in recent years. I'm curious if, if that's had anything to do with maybe, you know, the past three halves where you've been better on offense, or is it maybe just getting better at some of the stuff that you were doing beforehand? No, we put, we, we put some different things in, Mike. We put some different things in offensively. We tried to make some changes uh, defensively as well. We didn't do a very good job with it. I mean, we only – we had just a little bit of time to work on it. We didn't do as good a job. You know, I say that, but, I mean, it. we stayed in the game. We, we stayed in the game, so um, I'm not I'm not ready to totally throw it out the window yet. But, uh, what what have you slipped in and what's worked? Because, I mean, the points and the efficiency were good tonight, but also a lot of assists, which had kind of been not the case before, and maybe more of the ball getting stuck and moving. We went back to running motion. We went back to running motion that we ran when I first when I first came back. Uh, ran it then, ran it all the way through the final four with those guys. And, uh, you know, those guys were terrific because they could all handle it and they could all pass it. But I thought our guys today did a pretty good job of running it. Bob Hertzel. Bob. Bob, yeah, I got you. I got you. Uh, Bob, first game between these two teams, Cryer gets 25, and My Mayor, Meyer, whatever his name is, gets 20. Tonight, Cryer doesn't play, and you hold uh, Mayor, Meyer, to zero points through, thir through 28, 38 minutes. Uh, what does that say? I mean, uh, that, that they, I mean, does that say more about about them than anything that how good they are and how deep they are that, that they could go, go back home and, and still pull this game out. Oh, Bob, they're good. They're, they're, they're really good. Um, they're also a whole lot better when we're playing five on when, when they're playing five on four. That's true. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's, I mean, you go back and look at it. There's a lot of things you can, you can point to that. Uh, well, I'll just stop there. There's a lot of things <laughs> you can point to. Coach, our final question of the night comes from Justin Jackson. Hey, Coach. Um, you kind of mentioned uh, the second half here of, of the season. Obviously. Uh, there's a ton of opportunities that, that are still out there on the schedule. Um, can you just kind of put into words what this team really, you know, has to do, what it has to accomplish, and uh, will you continue to kind of mix and, and match, uh, you know, different lineups uh, uh, depending on, you know, uh, the matchups and the teams you're playing against uh, in the second half? Justin, we ain't dead yet, but we – I mean, I think I think uh, Taz's Taz's situation I think will determine a lot, right? Um, you know, and obviously, I'm not a doctor, and, and there are doctors here, and I mean, they don't have any way of knowing that either, other than the fact that he has a concussion. Um, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna continue to we're gonna continue to fight the fight. 
you know, you know, Justin, it's hard to answer. It's hard to answer those questions when, when I feel the way I feel and I've already went in and looked at clips and I know what happened. Right. I just can't, I can't talk about it. Go back and wind it back when you want to talk about us getting out rebounded or, 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 or us, whatever, missing a, missing a close shot or whatever. Go back and look at it. Go back and look at, at Taz's situation. That wasn't called a foul. I know. Unbelievable. Well, if you go back and look, there's more. Okay, that concludes our session for tonight. Coach Huggins, thank you. Yes, sir.